Jingle, you dirty bastard! You dirty bastard! You cheating, lying, stealing, dirty bastard! <laughs> Welcome you to Battle Slash Deering. I we saw in the last video that Austin Aaron won by jumping, rolling to a ball, psych her opponent out, blew him up, freed him, and then blew in hell. Now in Battle Slash Theory, that's about episode two. We're gonna see Arkham versus Shane Tun. More combat versus Street Fight. Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, kings of the fighting genre. And every good fighter needs awesome villains. Like Akuma. Awesome villain. Awesome powers. Sorceress Vanguard of Doom. He's with Same time. Um, and it's our job to analyze the weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. I, I don't have a um, go with Maul Comet. I play it so much, so I have to go with Maul Comet. He is a living weapon, ten times stronger than nearly every other street fighter. Well, as he looks freaking awesome, I totally want me some Wait, what do you, what you mean? What, how, what do you mean that he's ten times better than most street fighters? Fighter. Uh -huh. He can even use the almighty Shinku Adukin, which is basically So 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 you tell me that he can control his multi firepower? That that's not bad, that's not bad. I don't know. Is it is it like a good um, ability to have or a bad one? A giant fireball of death. Man, if I ever throw a Hadouken in real life, I'm gonna die happy. Akuma and also Luka? The sure you can uppercut, a teleport ability, a swift multi-striking hurricane mm -hmm. kick, and the Hayaki Shoe, aka the Demon Flip. Also, Akuma's got tons of different super arts, but two really stand out. First, there's the Gongo Go. Because basically, Akuma punches the ground and things explode. <laughs> He's shattered. The whole freaking island just by punching it. Holy shit! But that's not the deadliest weapon. What? So you, so you tell me. That he shattered a whole island just by punching the ground. Man, I, I, I'm, I might, I might have to change my mind about who might win. I might have to change my mind after hearing this. She, I, I think Street Fighter might, uh, might take it after hearing this. But, but I, I can't, I can't say, say who gonna win. I got, I gotta see. What Shane Go guy? Distant sleeve. The Shun Goku Satsu, also known as the Raging Demon, literally means. Boy. Instant hell murder. Man, I'm telling you. Oh, so you mean instant death to hell? Basically, basically, that was that that was insane. It meant hell to death. That basically insane. Night searching for worthy opponents. He's an unstoppable human holocaust, losing only once to his brother Goken. But after a brutal rematch, oh hey look, he can finger paint. It was rumored that Akuma sacrificed his soul to a demon in exchange for the strength to defeat Goken. But this has been declared not. That's the dumbest thing you've ever done. His stamina is absolutely pathetic. He can dish out the pain, but he sure can't take it. It's you are a man saying and stupid. He takes an extremely offensive approach. Always moving, always attack. Yeah, screw uh -huh. fence. Give me more ways to hurt people. I am Akuma, and I will teach you the meaning of pain. Shang Tsung is the cunning sorcerer from Shang Outworld, Sung. scheming pawn of Shao Kahn. He's extremely adept in magic and a well-rounded fighter. This guy can shoot flaming skulls, which is totally awesome, but... That guy awesome. Keep them. I mean, seriously, how many skulls can a person carry around with him? Sung can tell yeah. around the battlefield with a special... Yeah, that's dope, too. Escape. Wow, sucker punch, bitch! He can morph into whomever he wants, giving him tons of different skills. The creepy part about Shingon is... The morphing to anybody that he wants and use their own power against them 
an insane person. It's like fighting a hundred different foes combined into one. Man, I wish I could morph into anybody I wanted. I can have some. Yeah, I wish I, wish I could do that. He has a razor sharp straight sword, though he usually keeps it hidden for a surprise attack. Shang Tsung possesses one other strange but useful ability. Long ago, when he was caught cheating in the Mortal Kombat tournament, he was cursed by the Elder Gods to rapidly age until an untimely death. The only way to prevent this fate would be to absorb the souls of his victims. He can literally eat your soul. Your so that's why that why Shingo got that ability to take people's soul because he was cursed. The moves of other fighters when he morphs. So really, his curse became his deadliest weapon. Good punishment there, gods. Shang Tsung has lived and fought for over a thousand years. His sorcery powers and brutal fatalities are rivaled by few, and he's claimed the title Grand Champion of Mortal Kombat several times, almost bringing about the winning streak necessary to allow Shao Kahn to invade Earthrealm. Keyword being almost. You should know that Shao Kahn invade Earth. Sung, he pretty much sucks at actually accomplishing his goals. He's super right. powerful. But like most villains, he can never get around some goody two shoes standing in the way of global takeover. His only notable victories have required treachery and deceit. But keep in mind, Sung's not fighting any ordinary meatheads. He's fighting demons, sorcerers, and gods. Nothing wrong about that. Shingo is not fighting any normal people. The man fighting people that is ten times powerful than him. Oh my God! Wow! Even in defeat, somehow he keeps coming back, more lethal than ever. You. And why you can and the creepy part about it, why you can come Okay, 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 single and Shingle. I've been here with Arkham Gap bro Shingle. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, oh! Damn! Okay, Shingo, but Arkham might, might take the king. Arkham might win this. Shingo, you dirty bastard! You dirty bastard! You Giovanni stealing dirty bastard! Oh, you dirty bastard, Shingo! Don't tell me you're gonna be a double count now! Don't tell me about be a double count now! Man, see that? Man! Man, oh! Shingo, you dirty Why in the world? See, see, I knew it. I knew it. I had, I had a feeling that Arkham was going to win. After hearing about all what Arkham had to do, I had a feeling that Arkham was going to win. Shango, you dirty f***ing thing. You kidding, Boomstick. Akuma's raw power and speed pressed a distinct advantage early on, but Sung's own cleverness and wide array of skills quickly evened the odds. It looked like Akuma had the whole thing wrapped up, but Sung's morphin' tricks saved his ass. Akuma's pride for battle almost cost him his life, as he stopped to see if this new face was worth the challenge. After switching up strategies, Sung managed to... Steal enough of Akuma's soul for some extra health and new abilities, but it wasn't enough. In the end, Akuma's skills as a fighter proved unmatched. I mean, Sung loses to Liu Kang all the time, and compared to Akuma, Liu Kang's the nicest guy in the world. There was no way he could take Akuma's constant punishment. No. As Shang Tsung isn't used to winning anything on his own, he wasn't perfect in delivering the final blow, leaving him wide open for the experienced Akuma to release his great. I told you, Akuma was gonna win. Like, there was no way Akuma so was gonna Sung win that. Like, come on. Like, I had, I had a feeling that Akuma was gonna win. I had a feeling that I like Mortal Kombat, but after hearing Akuma. Subscribe, like, Hit the Apple notification bell for episode 3.